this is how my bathroom looks like before and I'm going to turn this into my art studio. So I recently moved and the neighbors helped me um, wrap my painting with this really fine um, cloth texture paper. I don't know. It's like it's just wrapped with like my huge painting is wrapped with this. And this one not only has the cloth part, it's also attached with this paper. It's really good. Okay, I'm basically gonna use this paper to um, cover my floor and the wall. I have a lot of them because I have um, several paintings. It took a lot of this um, material to wrap. So I end up got a lot. I pick up the rug and I vacuum the floor. So now it looks like this, nice and clean. <laughs> so I cover the floor. It kind of looks like a huge area rug. I didn't know how big it is until I actually um, put it on the floor. I think it's nice. It's, I, I didn't know that like one piece of this can cover the whole floor, so it's nice. Yeah, and now I'm gonna seal the edge and stabilize it um, with the blue tape. So I end up um, sealed the edge with this color of tape. It's similar to the paper. I don't. I was gonna seal it with blue tape, but like I just think similar color will look better. Okay, so I'm going to cover this wall with the uh, same material. And fun tips, if you have this at home to, you know, help, what is it for? To help stop the door, you see? Um, you can take it off by simply just twist it. Here we go, ta-da! Okay, clearly I don't have OCD. There's a hole on the wall, that's okay, I can deal with it. <laughs> this is like a reuse of, you know, material, so it's okay to be broken. And I just simply tape it on the wall. You can see I didn't tape it to all the way out because it's not long enough. I don't I want it uh, to be able to cover the whole bottom of the wall. So it, because you usually work over here, you know, you don't work up there. So, and oh, and here I take the, I make the, I made a cut and I take the handle out. So this handle can still be, you know, used as a, you know, handing towels, handing up, you know, the pen, my tools. Okay, I already covered the whole wall with this material and look at this and then I cover my door too you know so I'm gonna work over here like on this wall but then on the right like you will always get some sort of you know splash onto your surroundings so I better take this wall so I did that and like I made a little cut at the handle so I can still use it so I'm done taping the wall and hope it's all protected and the floor looks good and I'm probably just gonna sit on the stool while I'm working okay I put everything back to uh, where it is so this is going to be my studio slash bathroom um, so I put my largest canvas inside just to you know get a sense of you know how big it is This is a 48 by 72 canvas. It's pretty big and the floor looks good And I put the mat on Benji's chewing on himself and this is the sink and then the bathroom stuff again And one good thing about like this um, bathroom slash studio you don't need to worry about you know um, walk to like a further place to look at your whole painting, you just turn around, you know? And then you can see the whole painting in distance and uh, a different point of view in a way. So yeah, and, and another good thing about this is like uh, the reason that I choose the bathroom is because it has a fan. It's over here, okay, it has a fan. So if you're working on oil and other, you know, smelly material, so this is a good way to, you know, get a fresh air and to take out the, the smell 